Welcome to a code report video. In this video, we're going to be doing something slightly different, and that is answering the number one question that I get across all of the talks that I give at conferences or through this YouTube channel, and that is, how do I make my beautiful code transitions in my presentations and in my YouTube videos? So we are going to answer this question and not only answer it, but show how I'm actually making one of my YouTube videos. So this will probably be a 10 to 15 minute video. It's gonna be well worth your time to watch it if you are giving code presentations and you want to learn how to make yours extremely beautiful. So there are three things that you are going to need and those three things are number one, Microsoft PowerPoint 2019 or a newer edition. And you need that for the morph transition, which we will talk about in a sec. You just saw it. Number two is VS Code. And number three is kind of optional, but I recommend it to most people when they're asking for tips on how to make beautiful presentations. And that is programming language logos. So if we hop out of this presentation, we can take a look at the transition that you just saw, which is the morph transition. So if we go up to a transitions and we check morph, boom, look at that. And note, this is the key thing that you need to know about the morph transition is by default, it has three different modes and by default, it is set to objects. But when you're dealing with code, you typically want words and you get this beautiful transition that basically it's got some algorithm that figures out where the closest object or word is and then it will slide that to the place from the previous or next screen. Very beautiful. And this is basically all you need to, need to know in order to make these wonderful transitions. Microsoft PowerPoint 2019 morph transition. It does it does actually exist in 2017 in certain versions, but to be safe, just get to 2019 or earlier. So let us go and actually make a YouTube video or the slides that's gonna go behind it. And so you can actually go and watch this video if you are coming to this video first, you can go and watch that video. I released it a couple days ago. It's gonna be called something like from C to C++. Uh, to Rust, to Haskell. And you can see here, this will be the thumbnail of the video, but we're gonna go make the slides for that video right now. So the first thing we need to do is to hop over to our VS Code. And the reason we need VS Code, and so you can see I already have my code built up. The reason we need VS Code is because you can copy and paste from VS Code. I'm using the Material Theme for those that are interested. Um, I use Material Theme Ocean. Dracula is also really nice. You can see Dracula here, but typically I like to use material theme for my videos and presentations. And if you copy and paste from VS Code into your presentation, we're gonna go new slide, delete this background, we want black. It will take all the syntax highlighting and colors and automatically have them. So absolutely wonderful. Next thing we need, because this is C code, we need the logo. We put that in the top left-hand corner. Center this a little bit. And there's our first slide. Now let's go to our next one, which is gonna be C++. So go over, get this logo, copy paste, copy pasta. That's good enough. And for this transition, we actually only need uh, fade because there's going to be basically no difference I think other than the colors. So we still will come and get the colors here Come in here copy paste Do this again. And so now we're gonna get something that's really nice If we come back So the only thing we've done here is we've just reformatted it because I borrowed this code and I'm refactoring it from another YouTube channel called code aesthetic. I think link in the description down below um but it is so spaced out and I don't really like it. So we're going to do this. We might even make it a little bigger. And then watch what happens. Transitions, morph. See, without, without words, doesn't do anything. Change it to words, ho, ho, ho. That's what we're talking about, folks. Absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. Ooh, you gotta love it. Abs I did nothing, I just clicked Morph Transition. Now let's quickly go build out the rest of this video. You'd be surprised how quickly you can um, put these presentations together. Copy, paste. We can just leave that one like that. Go to the next one. 
Actually, we copied everything there. We don't want that. Copy, paste. Very nice. Duplicate. Come back to the next one. Were we just at accumulate? No. Copy, paste. Once again, want to center this a little bit. Duplicate. Come to the next one. Copy, paste. Slide. Actually, that was fine. Leave it where it was. Duplicate. Ternary operator. And let's, yeah, let's keep the namespace in. And. Move it. Whoops, sorry about that. Duplicate, come back to our last C++, which actually is identical. So we can skip that one. And then we come to Rust, and Rust will be the last one that we do. Absolutely beautiful. We can actually make this a little bit bigger. And once again, we got to go delete this, and we need the white Rust logo. And you can just find all these logos online, Google Images. And now let's go take a look. Actually, we want one more here, because really the way I want this formatted is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Technically not what Rust format does, but you always need to use a little bit of uh, artistic uh, digression when doing slideware. And you, you might be asking, why am I not just using this for centering? And that's because you notice there's a lot of white space sort of in the lower triangle of this box. And also the fact that the logos on the screen is, it always seems if you if you use the actual centering things that it's less centered because of that. So I always, like to manually adjust if you were asking that question in your head. So now let's go back to the top and take a look. So this is our fade transition and then morph once, morph again to use stood views iota, add a views filter, add a stood accumulate, change that to a ranges accumulate, use a ternary operator. Ooh, except note what just happened here which I don't like, this stood views. So almost 80% of the time, the morph transition does exactly what you want. But every once in a while, because the stood views are disappearing and it's going up here, I don't, I don't really like that. I mean, technically it is what's happening, but uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna change that. And then we go from here to rust and rust to just, and so you can see here, once again, like the periods aren't moving because they're trying to do like a, split based on alpha numeric characters probably. So it's not perfect, but you know, it gets you 95% of the way there and I'm not gonna spend, you know, an extra time trying to get the last 5%. The one irritating thing though that I pointed out was, if we can come back here, the way, so the way that you can change this is by just adding a couple extra slides. So what I want is to add, duplicate this slide and then add a namespace in here so that that'll already be there. And then we won't have that problem, I don't think. So if we come back here, now it's just going to slide this slightly down. And then now when we do this transition, perfect. That's what I want. I don't want the stood views floating up. So almost all the time, the morph transition will do what you need it to. But every once in a while, you might need to sort of massage it by adding a couple extra slides in there. But that's basically it. You've got Microsoft PowerPoint 2019 or higher, VS Code for getting the syntax highlighting, and add some logos for a little bit of color, and you're done. So hopefully you learned something from this video. If you did, feel free to share it with a friend, hit the like, and uh, subscribe for more videos in the future. And like I said, if you wanna see the final polished product of the you know actual result of this video, um, Check the link in the description down below. That video will have been posted a couple days ago. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and have a great day.